Hello and welcome to 1499 Martin Way, Beaver Creek, Ohio. Here I am in the driveway look up, looking up at the front of this home. First thing I want to point out the location. We are located on a no outlet cul-de-sac street, so it just goes right down there in stops. This is a full brick home, updated windows, updated roof, updated siding. Most of the mechanicals have been updated as well. And one really other important thing to point out on the outside, well, a couple things here. Nice mature trees, gives it a great neighborhood feel. And this wooded area over here, that is included with this property. So we're right at an acre with this additional lot and this lot is buildable. So you could sell that house, or excuse me, sell the lot off and keep the house or vice versa and build your dream home right on the lot next door here, wooded, ready to build on, um, water and sewer are at the street. Just a great, great park-like setting here. Next, let's get a little closer and look at the backyard. All right, before we go to the backyard, I wanted to show you the garage here. It's kind of a side slash rear attached garage. You can't see it from the street, but this is a good size two car garage. And you can see the brick wraps around here. This was an addition at some point, which is why we have wood here and then brick here. And then a gigantic shed back here, plenty of parking where you come in to back into the garage. So now let's go check out the back deck. All right, so here I'm out on the top level of the two tier decks. We have a big section up here, railing all the way around. And then there's a lower section down here. And again, we can see the full brick coming around. Stone chimney. This is the backside of the garage right here. Big, big honking storage shed here. This thing is probably 15 feet tall. Double door, huge storage in there. And you can see how private it is back here. And then this is the additional lot over here. You have walking trails in here. All kinds of possibilities you could do over there. Put your own little playground, like your own little park over there. You can see our updated roof. And uh, there are gutter guards with all these mature trees. That's a very important thing to point out. Gutter guards all the way around the house on the gutters here. Now, let's go take a look at the inside. All right, so here just came through the front door. In the entry here, this looks like a slate type tile once you come in. Coat closet immediately to your right once you come through the front door. And there's an updated screen door uh, on the outside of that door as we come in. Immediately to your left, we have a long living room and I'm gonna call that the dining room. Could also make a great office. Looks like we have cable over there as well. Wood burning fireplace in this room and all of the windows have been updated over $20,000 in improvements just to the windows. And that is a real planter box right there, so you could put flowers in there. This is the room that would make a good dining room or office or just a place to set the piano. Circular floor plan so we can get to the kitchen and everything else this way or we can go this way. Since we're here, we're gonna go through here right now. So this is gonna take us into our kitchen and a ton of cabinets in here, all kinds of storage, the cooktop, the wall oven, the refrigerator, all stay. And these go all the way down. I'll get you another perspective when we go around to what I'm calling the breakfast room over there. So we're just gonna finish out this side of the house here. So we saw, <coughs> we see here a full bathroom. Looks like a half bathroom, but there's actually a shower over here and there are three, count them, three full bathrooms on this home. This takes us down to the basement. We'll look at that momentarily. Coming over to the addition. This is a new Pella door here as well. As well, actually this one over here is new. This one is updated. And you can get into the garage or can get from the garage in here, but there's also a door that goes right into the garage. You see the original brick here to where this was an addition, making it an attached garage. And that's where you can carry the groceries in from the garage without having to go into the rain. Another wood burning fireplace with stone surround on here. Old window has been taken out. This doubles as a serving window. Kitchen sink overlooks this family room. A little horseshoe section right here. And coming around, this is that new door that I was talking about that leads out to our two-tiered deck, which we already saw. 
sorry, get a little light adjusted here. Beautiful stone fireplace here. And this I'm calling the breakfast room. Could also be the dining room, which is why the other one could be an office. And just a vast amount of cabinet space here. Really a ton of countertop space as well. And then rounding out the first floor, well, before we round out, that's where we started. So we went that way. Now you can see the circular floor plan here. Now rounding out the first floor, we have three more bedrooms to look at and another full bathroom. This has a shower tub in here, double vanity. And also one thing to point out, this door goes into this bedroom here. So it could be kind of like an owner suite, if you will. This bedroom is in the back middle of the home if you're looking at it from the street. And this bedroom here would be on the back right of the home if you're looking at it from the street. Even if we peek up there, you can kind of see the deck right there. All the rooms have double sliding closets, linen closet here. And then this is the room behind this door. If this door was shut, you could go straight into the bathroom right there. This is on the front right of the home. So great first floor. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to point out in these bedrooms, the owner realizes that the carpet is a little dated and a little worn. I peeled back the corner of the carpet there and there are wood floors underneath this carpet. So I don't know if that continues throughout the whole house or not, but it does in those bedrooms. Next, the basement entrance is over here. So I'm gonna go down there and meet you in the basement. All right, so here it just came down the basement stairs and guys, it's a big sprawling ranch on the first floor, and with the exception of the addition, all of this basement mirrors the footprint of the front of the house. So we have a huge space down here to show you. First, we're gonna show you the utility room slash mechanical room. The washer and dryer do stay. Updated panel box. A boiler, fantastic heat source. Um, and I don't think that's very old either, as I don't think the water heater is very old as well little folding cabinets over here. And L, the plumbing on this house should be top notch, buttoned up as well. Calling this the bar for obvious reasons, cause there's a faucet there and it's a bar. Uh, nice lights in here. There's so many possibilities cause this is just a huge space. And count it our third wood burning fireplace here. Could have a pool table, a ping pong table, could make up a theater room foosball table. Uh, my mind is just wandering and racing around of what would I do with this space, as is probably yours as well. And then check this out, a third full bathroom down here, walk-in shower. And really this is a good amount of space. You could throw a closet in there pretty easily. It would not affect the layout of this basement at all. Just a great space. And we're not done yet. We have a storage room. Everybody needs a storage room. Big storage room here. And the water softener is newer and that is owned. So the water softener does stay with the property. And then check this out, you have a workshop too. So this is it and there's no more rooms to see, but workbenches all stay. So a great workshop here. So big sprawling ranch, living room, family room, rec room, new roof, updated windows. Furnace has been updated, or the boiler has been updated. Uh, it does have central air conditioning as well. Uh, that's one nice thing to point out. A lot of times with boilers, you don't have that. This, you do have central air conditioning. Updated windows, updated roof. Um, those are all Pella windows throughout the house. Guys, this is a unique opportunity, especially with that lot that is for sale as part of this, not in addition to, that lot is included in this price. So if you don't want it, that could be something that you potentially sell off or you keep it and make your own park and playground. Thanks for watching and I look forward to talking to you.